and welcome to our special edition of EBTV, our teacher appreciation episode. I'm your anchor, Sophia Clearman. And I'm your co-anchor, Rogelio Caballero. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week, where we recognize all the hard work our teachers have put in. This year was pretty intense, and has had its share of ups and downs. Our teachers work diligently, staying up late, grading our papers, and putting up with us every single day. Our reporters Hannah and Bella talk to teachers on the sidelines to get the inside scoop on the highlights and challenges of the year. The school year is coming to an end and it has been a long and eventful season for our teachers. We hit the classrooms to get the inside scoop. I teach Honors English 2 and 10th grade at uh, My name is Mr. Zamora. I teach Spanish for native speakers 1 and 2. My name is Amanda Hawkins and I teach jewelry, airbrush, uh, creative Drawing, Art Portfolio, and AP. My name is Jeff Pyle and I teach Math 3 and Math 2, both honors and regular. This has overall been a good year. In the art department, we hired a new art teacher, so we have Miss Dilly now. So that made our class sizes a little bit smaller and um, spread things out a little bit. So it's, it's been pretty nice. As the teachers have grown this year, still have their students. Relationships have been developed throughout this year due to the interactions that have been exchanged. Did you work well with this year's group of students? Just kidding. I did. <laughs> I did. I, I loved our students. I love all of them. Um, it's a fun group of students. Uh, there's challenges I'm sure every teacher has, but overall, I've really enjoyed working with our students this year. Well, with this year's group of students, I did. I, I feel like we've created a, a great bond. I think that I, I will remember them for the rest of my life. After everything the teachers have experienced this year, they are looking forward to achieve their goals and continue to improve. And what are your goals for next year? Goals for next year. Be a better teacher. <laughs> Always. What are your goals for next year? My goals for next year is to create a classroom where students are doing more of the teaching and the learning and I'm going to be more of the person supervising the class and leading them in the directions that they need to go. As our teachers continue to work hard and improve in their near future, make sure to show them your support and appreciation. This has been Hannah and Bella, back to you in the studio. Here at EDTV, we appreciate all of our teachers hard work. Hey Ro, how do you think we should appreciate our teachers? Well, once I bought Mr. Knight some donuts, but our reporters Alondra and Ty have some fun and creative ideas. Teachers don't become teachers for the money. They become teachers because they want to make a difference. They want to plant that seed that will make the change. So this week, let's appreciate our teachers for the late nights of creating papers and creating lessons. Here's some ideas. You could always write a letter to your teachers to let them know how they have impacted you. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Or if you think your teacher would enjoy something else, you could always make them a playlist with some tunes everybody enjoys. That way when they hear the playlist, they remember how much they are appreciated. Or if you would like something more simple, you could always just stick to some classic flowers to spread the love. Point is, there are countless ways to appreciate your teachers. So this week, Eagle Valley students, we challenge you to spread some creative love to our teachers. Take a photo of what you did and hashtag it EVHS Teacher Appreciation. This has been Alondra Escobar and Ty Murray. Back to you in the studio. Make sure to appreciate your teachers this week and these last few weeks of this year. Happy Teacher Appreciation Week. We'll see you next time on EVTV.